Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get it done. Looks like they got their mean faces on. They are plugged in, ready to roll. They're ready to go. They're ready to get into it. I believe about a game of one between these two. Let's see how this one is going to end up happening. Sinatra just spacing out really safe back use and gets that multi jab coverage. Because if you game and watch any land with a button, you know what you usually do? Spot dodge. Yeah, but Gus, Gutbuster, another player who has done a lot of improving in his gameplay and is grown to be a bit more of a patient player as well. He's still got oh, yeah. the buttons. Any game and watch still got the buttons. But when you put a little bit of patience behind those buttons, there's a lot of opportunity to get big damage, big punishes. And on a character like Inkling, where jumping is a big commitment, that could pay off heavy dividends for Gutbuster if he waits his turn the right way. Sinatra's juggling and dash, like dash, uh, dance, excuse me, just so non committal right now. Just able to shark out a lot of these landings, but ooh, double jumping in a bit of an awkward fashion. Tries to get past all that chef, all of it, meet at the ledge, able to do so successfully, and now dashing and dashing out and waiting for one bad whiff. Gotta watch those nares. Gotta watch those nares. You think you can get away with it, but then you do not. But then going out there so Where deep. Where are we? Off stage. Try to get aggressive with up me. I like that though. Fire is an amazing burst option and fairly hard to react to, but Inkling's got the movement to accommodate, and while Sinatra's got his head on straight, Gubbsu's got his work cut out for him because that's a very slight character. Inkling just move about. That's spacing. Phenomenal. That setup to be able to cover tech rolls in and tech in place. Phenomenal as well. Oh, that Dara, jab I'm liking block. what I'm seeing right now. Sinatra's playing tight. Oh, but coming down with the down air, throw out the judge for good measure. All right. Okay, gonna be getting that up Wow! Smash, and that ends up killing Game & Watch, don't forget. Light is a feather, as big as weakness. Very light character, and maybe suboptimal DI led to an early stock. Hey, Sinatra will take that full stock lead. He's eating a bit of damage right now, but otherwise, fine situation to be in. Yeah, setting up that tech chase yet again, just always covering those tech rolls in, and now he has a lead that got busted. He's always going to be holding out in those kinds of situations. Dashing in, dashing out, just playing non-committal, and just baiting out all these options. Sinatra's got those fundies. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan right now. Inkling is a character who has amazing movement options, but the buttons are a big commitment. You saw how he tried to conclude off that release with a down -in? That could have been something cool. That could have been like down and into back and down and into up and, and somehow getting in before the startup of that down smash. Doesn't get the up smash coverage in time. Fodzo came out to make sure that he got something out of it, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then just get up attacking right into that bomb. Pressed it a little bit too soon. The bomb descended a little bit too slow for him to knock it away. That should be it. Yeah. Could he have mashed out of that? It felt, so it felt like he was Sinatra in a little bit seemed ready, way. though. Yeah. He was positioned in a way where he was expecting to hit him higher. I think he just got the pick up and called it a day with that one. I feel like at the end of the day, this entire game just boiled down to the fact that Sinatra didn't really commit to anything until it came time to catch a Game & Watch landing. That was the biggest thing, right? You see the, the goal yeah. away, the, the, the prediction on the drift. Sinatra just played away. He played keep away from Gutbuster so, so well. Beautifully spaced up smash as well to be able to get that scoop hit, the one-two. One of the big problems of playing uh, Game & Watch is you have to deal with the up B down air. You don't know how ignorant they're going to get, but you know if you just wait it out, big oh, yeah. punishes all around. And they always go for it. It doesn't matter how well practiced you are. For sure. So I just feel like at the end of the day, Gutbuster just needs to mix up some of his landings. He needs to stop always landing with down That's what I'm saying! It'll be the... You, you live and die by that down guys give him much, but you have to mix up your drift. You have to mix up the times and positions at which you do it. And I think they might have started off on the wrong stage, perhaps? Beep, beep. What happened? Game. I guess we'll know in a second. I think it might have been a color choice. I don't know if I've ever seen Sinatra pick off of the light blue uh, ankle. Yeah, that's his classic. Like, oh, no, I have to. It's for the power up. Um, staying on small battlefield, it may very well have been the case. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, game number two here. They're going to be getting into it. Uh, let's see how well Sinatra does. Let's see if Gutbuster is going to be able to make this one back. I, I want to see Gutbuster initiate in different ways. I want to see some more spaced backers. I want to see some more, you know, fade back neutralities. Not always leading into it because he keeps leading into it. And then he lands with spot dodge and Sinatra has a read. He has a tell. And look at the punish. Up through, up in. Waiting for another button, but Gutbuster was patient. One thing that we saw just here, we didn't see at all in game one. You saw the bucket come out. Oil Panic, a great tool in this matchup. You have the opportunity to reflect the splat bombs back, and you do get a decent energy charge from them. 
Okay, able to get those double neutralized. Doesn't get the back two in time and ends up hitting the wrong direction with the falling foil. All of a sudden, Sinatra now on track to be able to take the stock out, but touching Game and Watch's shield a little bit too unsafely. Okay, gonna be knocking him off stage. Makes it back on. Just waiting at the ledge a little bit. Good timing. Ooh. Take and trying to pick up a down smash? Mm -hmm. Excellent timing from Sinatra just to get through that hellfire presented by Gutbuster. Hold on, where's it? Uh, I wanted that forward tilt just a little sooner, my man. Yeah, I don't think he's like really playing like in a way that is anticipating some of like Sinatra's ledge options. But okay, this is it. Can you make this happen? You have Inkling stuck at the ledge, and you see Sinatra not even trying to fight back on. He knows how to get past up smash. He did get past up smash, and now he has made this advantage his own, but then doesn't make it back onto the stage. The down is actually going to be knocking him back off. Lots of buttons, but no Sinatra to be found. He's going to take full advantage and mm -hmm. just swarm Gutbuster. Three stocks to one. This is Sinatra's game. He keeps catching these spot dodges over and over with the same multi jabs because he keeps pressing spot dodge in the same exact way. Connor, you have to mix it up, buddy. You have to jump after Nishka. You have to shield. You can't keep doing the same thing. Sinatra just has a very observant eye. He sees these poor defensive habits from Gutbuster, and he's able to pick him apart because of it. Just and dashing, 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 baits out that chef too. And you see him getting a little bit tilted as well. So now is in his head. Oh. My man on a different wavelength. I don't know where that forward smash was. Uh, not here, you know I, I feel like is the best way to put it. But stuck at the ledge, waits past all the hits of the chef as well, and then just makes it back on. Wow, so now is playing clean. He's playing this matchup tight. He is looking very good right now. We got the falling down air into up smash. That but a little so bit too clean. much knockback from the down air. He wasn't able to get that sweet spot of the up smash. Only like that late hit. If he but got sour hit, that would have been dead. Oh, doesn't get the up air, but has he's really idea. trying to do it to him. Okay, but then gets right up into the up smash. Happens to the best of us, I believe. All right, we're coming in on max rage game and watch. Got to be careful with those nares because they're gonna be popping oh, yeah. your targets outside of their combo range. <laughs> no kill spikes, no nothing. Just the up smash could be sending the bus to, to the top last zone at, at light speed. Where did he go? Wow. It's not you played so good. I need to see it again. I need a I need to get an idea of what happened here. Okay. Spot dodge. Run into it. The he very most ledge. And he died yeah. up. You can see from the sparks. I mean, he I was wasn't anticipating gone. to get hit by that. That looked like it was like the latest possible hit as well. It was just like, whoa, that's a little bit unexpected. But uh, either way, Sinatra, yo, you look so smug with that. Yo, yo hold on, hold on, hold on. You saw a sly little smile. He is pleased. <laughs> he is. <laughs> yo, the, yo, the hands up. <laughs> ah, no, wait. I almost had it. I messed up on the zoom ins. Check those player cams. Both of them don't know what's good right now. Yeah. So he makes it back onto the stage. He wants to make it back over the ledge. We got some spot dodges, it is what it is. Brings it down. That arrow is straight up. The DI could have been a little better, but it is what it is. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. I have no qualms about this. This is a non-issue <laughs> if I'm Sinatra. If I oh, got a kill no. like that, I'm like, oh. I will take that. GG's. That's tough. Oh, but there's still a whole loser's bracket for Gutbuster to run yeah. through. He definitely has the the makings to get through it. Clean up that play a little bit. We'll see him more later. Yeah. Wow. That was that was something. That was a goofy end to that one. Indeed.